I've been troubled by the fact that we're serving only some communities. It's a reputation Whole Foods Market can't seem to shake. Co-CEO Walter Robb, a grocer at heart, has been working to change that notion. And I think that it's time for this fresh, healthy food to be available to all communities. Whole Foods opened its new store with touches that reflect the Motor City's culture, like tabletops made out of automobile hoods and Motown 45 records. This store here in Detroit is special because it represents the first time we've stepped into a market that we've not really ever served before. I mean, this is 85% black community here. The city and state kicked in nearly $5 million in incentives to bring Whole Foods to one of its fastest growing neighborhoods. That's home to more college educated residents with higher incomes. Surrounding the area, miles of urban blight that have plagued Detroit for decades, where the residents are typically less educated and have lower incomes. Very quickly, you're going to see a shift in the neighborhood. Red Elk Banks has worked at Whole Foods for nearly two decades and is the point man when it comes to making sure Whole Foods is accessible and connected to the community. There's all the graffiti and uh, all the just huge empty spaces in the city. None of that scared you guys? Sure, but that's also a moment where you challenge yourself and you say, our goal in coming to Detroit was to make an investment that mattered. The company's donated about a quarter of a million dollars to build a kitchen at a farmer's market. And like it does around the country, Rob says Whole Foods aims to be competitive on prices. That means a half gallon of organic reduced fat milk will cost about a dollar less in Detroit than in New York City. Does it frustrate you when people still think, oh, whole paycheck? Do you hate when people say that? Particularly here in Detroit, I made a personal commitment for Whole Foods that we're going to be affordable and accessible. Whole Foods hired 97 store employees, 72% from Detroit. Civic leaders see Whole Foods as a necessary green shoot. Whole Foods is more than just a store to the city of Detroit. One, it serves as a model for other retailers when they're going through a decision-making process of whether or not to locate in the city of Detroit. Rob has said it will take about three to four weeks to see if the store is working. I'm an unabashed capitalist. I believe in business. I believe in making money. It's, it's the question of how you show up in the world with that. I love this project. I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but I have a good feeling about it.